Hi, this is Steve Lindsay. I received an email inquiry this morning asking how the air gravers cut in comparison to the pulse spring type hand pieces like GRS and others make. I thought a video would help um, uh, show the difference. Um, I'll take some heavy and light cuts with each of the tools. Um, so there's a classic hand piece we got uh, with a uh, palm control handle on it and a uh, Monarch hand piece. 901 and I believe this one's called a magnum and so um, and I've got one graver sharpened up and it's um, it's a, a carball with 116 degree it's got that patented uniform uh, point on it and so we'll just use it um, to swap between all four of them here um, and I've got uh, a piece of uh, mild steel in the vise here so first we'll try um, the 90 or the um, Monarch. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. And I'll try a, a, a light cut first. And then a heavier cut. And I'll just go ahead and floor it and see what we get. Okay, so um, we'll take it out, the, the graver out, and put it into the 901. Um, so with the pulse um, spring type hand pieces like these, um, they've got um, a unit that uh, sits on the bench with a usually an electric motor running a valve that consists of like a, a hole, uh, a shaft with a hole in it. And so every time that hole comes around, it gives a blast of air to the um, into the hand piece tubing. And then in the hand piece is a, uh, a spring and a piston. And so the pulse will uh, push the piston forward, and then the spring returns it. Um, and so there's a balance point um, that you need to tune these type of hand pieces to find, um, depending on what size or what strength of spring you got in there, that you need to adjust the PSI and the um, pulses um, so that that particular hand piece will run, run well. Um, so here is the... 901, and I'll do the same thing. I'll take three cuts with it. And I'll go ahead and just floor it here. Okay, so now we'll take that, um, zoom in a little bit, I'll take that um, graver out and put it into that other hand piece, the Magnum. Okay, now we'll try it. Um, I'll try three cuts with it also.
I'll go ahead and floor it for this last one. Okay, um, so I'll take this, I guess I should have zoomed in there, um, you can see those three cuts. I'll take this graver out now, and uh, we'll put it in the classic. It felt like the tip might be on it, off of it, but it should still we'll make it work. Um, okay, so it's in the classic now. The, the, the Classic's got a stroke adjustment on it, and you can see these three exa exhaust ports um, on the bottom of it. And when they're all exposed, that gives you the longest stroke. Um, and think of the stroke adjustment like a, a backswing and a hammer. Uh, the uh, you know, a longer backswing is going to give you more momentum, and your impacts are less frequent. And, uh, but, they, but it hits harder. And you can set the stroke adjustment down. So what that does, you know, when you got the full throttle range within each setting, um, it it really does make a, a moldable hand pieces in one, you know, to cover the full full range um, of what the uh, competitors got, um, and um, and actually uh, a lower and higher at the higher end, we got more on. So I'll. Uh, well, and there's a, uh, a light uh, piston available for it, and also a tungsten piston, and the standard piston is what comes with it. But we'll take, we'll set it at a medium stroke to begin with and take three cuts there. So it does, um, um, you know, with with it, you can go slow yet, but when when you're uh, when you're confident and you know when you're going where you're going with the cut, you really can get moving and uh, move some metal fast. But um, let's set it let's set it down at the uh, shorter end of the stroke, and I'll take a few light cuts there. So I'm in the field of view here, okay. I can go ahead and take a, a deeper cut with that stroke, but usually you'd set it up higher than that. Usually you set it at a longer stroke, but it does that's what it'll do at a short stroke with almost no full throttle on it. Um, so let's go ahead and set it out to the longer stroke and uh, see what it'll do there. Um, So I'll take some medium depth um, cuts first and just scoot around on the plate here. Um, so I'll go ahead and give it full throttle here. And, We'll see what it does. Maybe I should move that. Here, I'm going to try to center this over a little better. This plate. Yeah, 
Uh, so that was about full throttle with it. Oh. chips there but like I say you know it will really remove some metal quick but um, and uh, but you can, of course can take it easy and, and do detailed work I've got some videos online of, of shading and such so um, um, thanks for watching